Welcome back to The Breakfast. Uh, it's 11th of January and uh, would maybe say happy birthday to everyone who's celebrating today. Yes, happy well, we, birthday to you. <laughs> well, we always like to share with you what happened on this day sometime in history. And we're going back to 1964, a story from the U.S. Surgeon General, his name Luther Terry. It was on this day in 1964 that he linked the um, connection between uh, smoking and cancer. It is something that had been spoken about and had been suspected since the 1930s, but there wasn't really any proof. And so on this day, um, he officially made that uh, link and that connection. By 1958, uh, a few years before this day, 44% uh, of Americans already believed that smoking caused uh, cancer. And cigarette companies, of course, over time in the next decade, continue to spend money lobbying and trying to convince the United States government to not ban smoking entirely. And, of course, they instead went through other ways of remarketing their products and, uh, you, know, uh, pr you know, basically promoting, you know, that their product had um, less tar and nicotine. They advertised it to have reduced levels of tar and nicotine. Over time, of course, after this um, uh, statement and this declaration was made by Luther Terry, um, and of course in 1995, California was the first to ban smoking in public places. Other states did follow, you know, and uh, took the same action. And, um, um, you know, all, all of this came from about 7,000 articles with regards smoking and cancer and it had been a very very popular co uh, conversation back then in the 60s until this uh, declaration was finally made i would also say that in 1969 the u.s congress then adopted the federal cigarette labeling and advertising act of 1969 and it uh, uh, was an act that um, uh, enforced health warnings on cigarette packs so, you know those things that you see when you buy a pack of cigarettes for those of you who buy um, a cigarette packs, you must see warnings that say smokers are liable to die young and, you know, stuff like that. It was in 1969 that it was enforced by the uh, Cigarette Labeling and Advertising Act and also uh, banned advertising of uh, cigarettes on broadcast media. And that's why till today you don't get to see cigarette advertising on uh, television and um, any type of broadcast media. Um, that's that's um, most of it, you know. So today, 1964, the 11th of January, U.S. Surgeon General Luther Terry announced a definitive uh, link between smoking and cancer. Mm. Um, I think it's a great one that uh, Dr. Terry was able to make that uh, definitive link, you know, letting you know that, yes, people die of cancer, but uh, smoking is one of the causes. From my research, I found out that smoking causes about 15 types of cancer. Yes. And it's uh, <clears throat> if 10 people have cancer, according to the research, seven out of them are probably caused by smoking. And it's interesting to note uh, that uh, for New Year resolutions, one of the most you know, listed as a, a New Year resolution for people is to quit smoking. Yes. You know, so some people succeed, some some don't. Some don't. Yeah, you just can only take it one day at a time. Absolutely. I don't mean the cigarettes. I mean take the it, resolutions. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Exactly. Um, all right. So that happened on this day. I, I remember growing up. Uh, there were certain brands that I used to see back then in the early '90s. Uh, but you know, those brands don't exist anymore. And what attracted me really to them was the type of advertising that they had. It was really, really colorful. And, and you know, some magazines. Yes. It was really colorful and interesting. Yes. But those things don't exist anymore. And um, there's also a very popular song by Lighthouse Family that was used to advertise a particular cigarette brand back then in the '90s. Anyway. Mm. So yes, yeah, something else, something remarkable that occurred this day, January 11th, was in 1957, and it was the day the immediate past chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, Professor Atahiru Muhammadu Jaga, was born. He was born 11th January in Jaga in Kebi State. He is a Nigerian academic. He is a former vice chancellor of the Bayero University in Kano State. He was nominated by the then president, uh, Good Luck Ibili Jonathan, as the new chairman of INEC, uh, subject to Senate's confirmation and as a replacement for Maurice Ewu, who vacated that post on April 28th, 2010. Uh, interestingly, Jagas is the only INEC chairman to oversee two Nigerian general elections, but uh, now that uh, the current chairman has been, you know, uh, you know, 
passed by the Senate or confirmed for you know, that position of INEC. We see that uh, he's now going to be taking up that spot once more. Jagger retired on June 30, 2015, handing over his position to Amina Zakari, according to a directive by President Muhammad Buhari. Uh, Jagger is seen widely as an astute intellectual he was a strong sense of ethics and uh, morality. He's a former president of the Academic Staff Union of Universities and was an opponent of the Babangida military government in the early 1990s. Uh, we see that he faced fierce criticism from both the opposition and the ruling party. Uh, that was during the campaigning for the 2015 Nigerian general election. Uh, so, so much uh, great accomplishment of Atahu Jaga. He, he is widely celebrated and today is, is his birthday. So happy birthday, uh, happy birthday to him. And uh, like we said earlier, to everybody who's celebrating January 11th uh, today. Absolutely. And, um, you know, one, one moment that, you know, would always be in the minds of Nigerians um, when it comes to Atahiru Jaga was his uh, calm the men out, you know, during the few minutes of the Orubebe uh, episode. Uh, that was everyone very popular. Who <laughs> yes. Everyone who remembers the 2015 general elections uh, would um, remember that, you know, few minutes of uh, display by um, um, a man who, you know, felt like the elections were flawed and, and uh, there was uh, a lot of cheating. Um, Atari Jagas uh, demeanor and you know his calm um, response to Orubebe was uh, it was very very popular. So happy birthday to him, and um, that's uh, what we have for you today, the 11th of January um, in 1964 and 1957. 1957. Stay with us. We're getting straight into a, a conversation next, talking about the police invasion of clubs in Lagos and maybe in other parts of the country uh, for per persons who have uh, decided to continue breaking COVID-19 guidelines and protocols. We'll talk about that next year on The Breakfast.